to another vlog. So on today's list, we have quite a few things to do. And the first thing that I want to get done is putting up my painting from my last video onto the fireplace because it finally dried up. The second thing that I want to do is go ahead and make some borscht because it's been a while since I've had my mom's cooking. The third thing that I want to do is sort through these Michael's grab bags that my sister got me. And if we have time, maybe we're gonna go ahead and decorate for Halloween. I hope you guys are ready and let's go ahead and get started! Now it's time to begin making the borscht. We are going to fill up a pot with some water and put this on medium heat. Next, put your choice of meat into the pot and cover. We're going to boil this for about 2 hours. If your meat is bigger, then let it boil more until it's tender. While we are boiling the meat, we are going to take this time to prepare the rest of the ingredients. So start chopping your onions, garlic, green pepper, potatoes, cabbage, and dill. Also, for the cabbage, you can go ahead and cut out the center. We are going to also grate the beets and carrots. By the way, make sure to buy normal sized carrots and not baby carrots. It's going to take forever. In a different pan, we are going to heat up some oil and drop our onions in there. Saute the onions until it starts turning a little brown. Then you can add your carrots, beets, and green pepper. Mix it together and let it cook for about 5 to 6 minutes. Now, making a hole in the middle of the pan, add your garlic and sauté for one minute. Then you can combine it together and add your seasoning. I just use basic seasoning of salt and pepper. Next, we are going to use a whole can of tomato paste. The one I'm using is 6 ounces or 170 grams. This is where, if you have hot pepper paste, add about 2 generous tablespoons, but sadly I don't have any. Then I just let this cook for 4 minutes and I set it aside. My meat has been boiling for 2 hours now. Moving it to a cutting board, you can make a test cut and see if it slices easily. If it does, continue cutting it into smaller pieces. If not, then continue boiling. Make sure to not throw away your boiled water because it is turned into a delicious bouillon. And if you have foam on top, be sure to remove it. Now we can just put our chopped meat, potatoes, and cabbage into the pot. Don't be afraid to season this again. Mix the ingredients and let it come to a boil. Once boiling, we are going to add our fried ingredients that we made earlier into the pot. Add your dill and mix. Be sure to add bay leaves and on a low heat, let this simmer until the potatoes are done. Now you have a bowl of my mom's beautiful borscht. Kushaiti Nazdarovia. Okay, so these are all the things that I have to go through because it's been in my office for quite some time now. We're gonna go ahead and start with the Michael's things, which is this summer wreath, I think, or maybe it could pass for spring as well. And we've got this <laughs> star-shaped tray. I guess it could work for salsa and chips. I think that's what it's for. By the way, I know they're not in Michael's bag technically. They're more in like trash bags, but that's because my sister was sorting through them and gave me all of these. So instead of putting it in individual Michael's bags, she just put it in this. So yeah. I thought I'd explain that. I actually think my friend might like this. 
So I'll definitely give that to him. And we have a leaf where you can hang it. And we have some vines. And then we've got like a bouquet of flowers. Dude, they used to sell this for $13. Like, are they out of their mind? <laughs> and then we just have a bunch more flowers. They're actually really pretty. Ew, what are these? <laughs> okay, well, I'm just gonna put them inside. So we have like a array of 4th of July flowers. That's pretty cute. I actually really like 4th of July. And then just some random flowers that are white. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> what do I, I don't know what these are. They cost 10 bucks for this? What are you? Well, I guess it's a toy for Yumi. Okay, moving on to the next bag. We have that. That's actually really cute. Another sign, and it says fresh. Oh, wow, those are kind of hard to read. Ooh, okay, so I've seen a lot of these types of planters. And they're actually quite popular, but I've never bought one myself. So this is actually pretty neat. What else do we have? Good vibes. Ooh. I don't really know if I'm going to use that. And then we have a bunch of floral tape. There's two more. Okay, that, that eight. Eight floral tapes. Color changing ice cream scoop. What? I didn't even know that existed. S'mores meltables. Natural and artificial flavor. How does that make sense? is you melt these and then you can put it on your s'mores or I guess whatever you want I'm gonna get fat okay this is our last bag so let's see what we get this one is a paint by number kit oh I thought it was like the diamond one you know where you put the rhinestones but no it's paint by number I've never tried it so this is gonna be interesting hooray and welcome these are really cute for 4th of July I like that more of these summer type leaves that you can hang. We have rhinestones. Oh, this is a USA, like, uh, what's it called? Foil balloons? So that's pretty cute, I like that. And then we have cookie cutters. I guess this bag was more like 4th of July stuff because it looks like it. And there's a bunch more ribbons. So now we have a juicy box. Let's see what's in it. Okay, so we have like an empty jar. It's actually a really cute color. And we have this which is just like a floral. That's cute. Hello, Summer. Oh, this is so cute. I love that. And another little thing. And then we have just like a little van. I guess you could put it in your planter. Some rope. Scented wax melts. I've actually never really tried it, so this is actually interesting. And this is all of the Michael's grab bag items laid out. So you can go ahead and see just how much stuff you could potentially get. Whoa. Excluding the cat. Hey, get out of there. It is getting pretty dark now, and I hope I have enough time to film the rest of the video, which is decorating for Halloween. And I don't know why the nighttime is coming in so fast, but it is. And so we have to rush and quickly just get those decorations out. So let's go ahead and do that.
Okay, I just finished decorating and now it's time for the big reveal. Well, I'm so happy that we managed to finish everything on our list because it feels amazing. I hope you guys had a lot of fun and I definitely had a really good time spending it with you. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!